towards A. And it's going to be a free, free plan for NIP. No problems whatsoever. Astralis, heavy gamble in the pistol. Does not work out, but they got the full retake coming in. Config with the first couple. Delivering Ooh. revenge, Config. Four kills going for the ace. Has to reload, but surely the round is over. Blame F alone against, well, now four. Also so, so symbolic that it's actually Blame F taking him out at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it is killing the round before he even got started. Also super awkward for all trade potential for Astralis. There's only one doorway to go out of, so they can't really go <laughs> together. They have to go one by one, and a, a guy with config aim is able to punish that. See it here. <laughs> yeah, we might have a new king uh, in Denmark, but uh, config is the king of Espia, so you can say that for <laughs> There sure. we go. Yeah, he has to, has to have a good game. Like, yeah. if he doesn't, then Astralis surely have too much firepower. Not really to overstate how much of an impact he can have. And his device with a kill. Oh, and not okay. quite getting the spray through. So Yabby's gonna be able to pick up another one. Two versus three. You think it one more kill? There it is. Down with the headshot. Conflict's looking the wrong way. He's gonna go down. NIP. This should not be happening. Yeah, I was about to say, as long as they keep the three AKs alive and bring those into the next round, it's fine for NIP, but this is far timing. from fine. The timing. That's one. It's for free, and it's down will gain a round for Astralis. Going into the middle of nowhere to take the duel, losing to Galil, and then it's kind of a snowball effect. Also very interesting, we see it on the player games, and of course we see it like we're right next to the players on the stage. Stown super fired up after that round, like yelling into the mic to his teammates, really getting them fired up. And of course he comes from a team where... Double AKs out though, so not a round where you want to underestimate oh, them. No. Oh no, Device! I can't believe he got the AWP out in time, but he should have been dead for nothing then. That's that's not something you normally see. Yeah, first off, you don't see that mistake yeah. ever from Device, but on the other side, NIP 9 out of 10 times will punish him without losing a player there. Can't be going for the time. Actually, can kill Blame F in the side. Flame F has not the high ground, but in this case the low ground, which is beneficial. Uh, they're getting really close to the bomb side. They're going to see the trajectory of that grenade, so they'll have a little bit of a clue of where one of the players is, but they have no idea about Steb. He was actually playing incredibly well last time, and it looks like it's in a lot of trouble here. Just you can see the crosshair being placed at the perfect position there for Stown. He's going to pick up the kill. And on the other side, it's just two people left. Down is having himself a real good game. There's no doubt when you see the mechanics. Peaks out. And trouble rather quickly. Only getting one and... I think the AK bounced a little bit away from the T side. So Device will have his work cut out for him. Taking out these clock players. Switching to the Deagle. Has to rotate back down to 42 HP. But the, the rotation comes in from Yabi. Device actually getting blocked at range, so that's a little bit surprising. But the round still should be fine. They're quite low on health. Oh, that grenade, if they step into it, they're going to run away from it, and that's running into the rifles instead. So I don't think there was any good winning that one. Conflict, one versus two, and he's just going to get locked in the corner. So yeah, the jerseys are out, and the Stralis are looking pretty good. Yeah, there's no chance here. Oh, oh maybe. maybe there is Alex! He gave away what could have been a free kill. At least they get down in return. Config still not able to miss many shots at the moment, but Device should have been dead and leaving him alive. Never a good thing if you're on the opposition here. Device with a double. Has no backup close. Jeb is coming from heaven. Sees him. That's very close to perfect for Stair. And they think it's too good to be true. They expect one more to be the rest gets the one. Great aim there by Rest, great cross placement as well. But has to get the bomb down and blame if it's so very low, but there might be a timing here. No, they double stack it, and that's not a problem. Four to two for Astralis. Losing against the pistols in the third round for, for NIP is like, that's a little bit frustrating. For Alex, personally, this is just more frustration, right? Yeah. yeah, especially because it's a little bit stressful. He sees the gun barrel and he's like, okay, I need to shoot, but he actually has a free kill if he just takes it slow. This could be a potential good setup for Astralis, but the first guy goes down and the whole house of card 
Especially the because is. they're playing anti-flash, right? One of them is meant to be flashed through, but because there's no flashbang for NIP, it's just config walking into shooting Ooh. them. The second player is not ready to turn around, but still, Flame F trying to bring it back. He will go down. 19 seconds Ooh. on the clock. Oh my god! Config! Four kills again! And it is surgical on that last one. Precision like you've never seen it before. Ooh. Bam coming through. It's real close. And if he would have had it down, he might have been able to win the round right then and there. But now they've slipped away. The smoke, nobody's inside of it right now. It's just down having to move closer, trying to duck under it. But they're waiting on the other side. He's inside. He's got the kit, but I don't think he'd get the defuse. He has to actually find them. Oh! They're right no, behind nobody. him. He has no idea. There's the one. But Konflik in his back for the ace instead. Nobody on Astralis plays 16 by 9. Yep. Everybody on 4 by 3 just confirmed right there. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy to see. That's tough. I think as it actually as it takes place full HD. So if he was on Astralis yeah. there, he would be able to tell Stevan that he was in the water area. And that's why you need S attack. Someone has to play 16-9. <laughs> what a... given the round. Yeah, what a great round from Config. <laughs> One bullet towards heaven. <laughs> but Blame if it's on the other side of the maps. Blame if it's in T spawn right now. Device will survive this, surely. And now Blame if can come in with the wraparound. I swear that's another one of Device's nine lives gone. He should have been dead right <laughs> then and there, but I just, he keeps getting away with it. A little bit of spam coming through, and there again, not even facing Alex, but still able to get the kill. Yabby with the other one, and that is the round. Device showing up from the high ground. Astralis cementing their lead a little bit, and I think a really, really critical round for them as well. They don't want to be running out of cash on the CT side. A little bit uncomfortable on the old roster, but right yeah. now, from my first initial impressions, he's been looking really good. Nice from Stair. Secondary duels coming in again. The pistols will be eaten. Up by Stair. We just spoke about it. Yeah, and that could that could well be a psychological thing, right? The old lineup. Yeah, he's communicating moving forward. The flashback oh. is good, but it doesn't even matter. Pre-fired S tag practically walks into it and about to be shot in the back is Rez. Now he will get that kill, but surely he's dead real soon. The flank has been going on for quite a long time, and it is still happening. He's there. He hears the footsteps. He knows that he's out there. 30 seconds on the clock as well. Blame for close. He's going to get shot down by head trick. And is the flank too late? Stare. All right, there we go. And Yabby with the double kill. It took a long time, but they managed to close the trap on NIP. And it's an 8-4 first half in favor of Astralis. Yeah, probably smart. Don't want to be too close to the Glocks. Oh, the flash is actually really good for Astralis. It's down. You can see him get the kill there. Taking down head trick. They should be able to get the bomb planted pretty swiftly. And I don't see a kit on anyone at the moment. They're down stepping up. Takes a swing at Config and puts him out of the round. Maybe Astralis about to win their first pistol round here. With a bomb plant and with a 10 second defuse. It's looking real good. I have to get up the table at some point, and this looks to be the time. Rest and S attack remaining, taken out slowly but surely. S attack will run away with 5 HP, no chance for him. Config must be kicking himself, like he had two or three good opportunities. He, he was the player to change yeah, the outcome exactly. of the round, but he didn't. And he wants to be in that role all the time. Yeah, you kind, of, kind of want him to put in the first contact situations. He's trying to close the distance and get a little bit closer. Nobody from the Astralis side is thinking about this. Rez, he should be winning this round, although his teammates are dying in the bomb side device. He lives again. Another life. And now it's Alex, one versus three. Take another one off the count risk because that... Five that, lives remaining. He, he should have been dead. That's a must win for NIP. He has so good position. I know what you're fishing for, uh, you know, you're fishing for a device with cat ears. You know, we all yeah, thought about it. Like a little yeah. cross off. It's on everyone's minds, but you know. It's always on my mind. Cat, 11 to 4. Cat ear device 2024, like, put it on your bingo cards. It's happening. He would be my president, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the most overlooked positions, somehow, the one that Rez is in. Like, everyone should be checking it, but somehow they're oh, not Rez. Really. Yeah, there is the double. The C set 75. Alex gets a kill on the Blame F. And it's just device left. He's going to go down. My God. Like I said, I think it has to be a contender for the most overlooked position. That exact one. But it's a little bit awkward. I like the fact that they were escaping from the water there because you don't want to have three people that are all standing exactly where S tag is. That just could be really weird. 10 seconds on the clock here. S tag wants to be the hero and stop the bomb plan, but he can't. And now he's in a little bit of trouble. He's going to go down. Yabby with the double instead. Rez. 
coming in from the L Ben, but he gets shut down. Somehow Astral is able to convert this into a victory hat trick. Unable to find a shot with the AWP until it's basically too late. Great double from Yabi there. Super important that he gets those two kills very quickly. And look how valuable it is for the CTs to save that off. The yes. CTs are instantly hunting. They know it's an overpass. They can't let this one save. Oh, he could actually go for the ninja if he was really fast there. <laughs> and he would have been ice cold. I'm not sure if he's going to die to the bomb here. He's going to be very close. Oh, moves away. Oh, oh no. no! Oh dear! No. Oh no! That's costly. Yeah. That's a little bit rough, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's fair to say everyone but Config on an IP right now is having yeah, a rough that's experience. True. <laughs> that's a bit of an issue. Although Rez, I guess the only other candidate that could be shining a little bit, will get one. They know where he is, and he's locked into this position. Alex, though, will defeat Gabby. That's something. And Config helping out, catching his old teammate in Blame F. Just device left. All right. A little bit of a bounce back. Yeah, sometimes you can argue that it's not worth saving the AK because it screws up the economy of the rest of the team. So when you have half buy, they have full buy. Yeah. It can be kind of awkward going into longer games, but for the AWP, it's definitely worth it. Oh, wow, look at this timing coming in. Hedrick finding device, but not with the AWP, with the pistol this time around. Last two players remaining will be blame and down. Hard for them to do anything, but maybe they can... Bomb the bomb. Get the bomb down. They can kill the guys. He's going to go B, actually. Exactly, but they're just going to go for the bomb plan and then hold the dumpster angle. Bomb plan has succeeded. Let's see if Stown can make anything magic happen. No, no way. He's looking for it. He's low first attack. Kill. It was lightning fast, and now s is boxed in. Having a hard time, but they will get the kill on Stown. Now it's on Blame F. They tap the bomb once. They obviously have defuse kits, so Don't they should be able to defuse. I don't think you can stop it, but my god, that's an expensive round. I would really love to see Blame F going for this one. I know it's no easy situation, but it's... A durable gets the first one, could potentially kill the orb afterwards. I thought maybe Stown had a chance there to catch him out in the open. A horrible moment for this Rez who's now behind the tree and they're doubling up against him. He's still good for the headshot or the kill at least on Stair. That's pretty impressive. I think that's the first time that I've seen Stair looking uncomfortable in this match so far, in that situation. Yeah, it should have been a, a 4v3, that's for sure. Yeah. Another life. For NIP, they will be on eight now. Oh, they're getting there. Slowly but surely. The round last bonus is picking up for Astralis as well, but without the bomb plant, it's not as exciting, but you know, it still is so low behind the smoke here. 17 seconds. Alex, that kill is probably all they need. Slowing them down even further. 10 seconds on the clock here, the Deagle. Not connecting, Device is on his own. Doing a fine I'm job in terms of the kills and what? running for the bomb plant. He might, he's gonna be able to get a, oh no. He pulls out oh, the AK and one, one. one. My God, it could have been close. He had time to spin around. I'm not, gets the straight I'm not shot. sure what Hedtrey is doing there in the situation. Rest should communicate. I have a teammate, you just have to stay back here. They yeah. actually give the chance for Device to win the 1v1. Smoke will fade. Oh wow. It's one. <laughs> That's nice from Alex, but that's attack is there as well. Trading through his blame F. Nice done. Rez gambling on the second burst there, but the first one was absolutely fine. Grenade down. It's not on stair, otherwise he actually would have been dead by one point of health there. 26 or 27 damage grenade. But it's a two versus two. The bomb is planted, and this is for all the marbles if you're on NIP. You want to get this round through. Hetrick gets another one. A Molotov and a little bit of spray, but it doesn't matter. Strong headshot. NIP, they keep the dream alive. Man. We can definitely hear the NIP fans in here. They're kind of hoping for this comeback. Yeah, at a minimum, you're right. Double kill is what's needed here. He gets one. A little bit of a tag on the stone. Here's the double. Oh. Keeps it going. The triple is on. And he nearly had the quad kill, but he's done more than enough here. Blame it for device. Two versus three, because S-Tag finally woke up towards the end of the map. And now NIP need to get this defuse to get this game into overtime. A Molotov down, that's actually devastating. They just have to push on forward. They have to push right through it. Taking only a little bit of damage. In fact, Blameth goes down, and now it's Device. 
One versus three. He's at the L bend. Three opponents on the other side. They tap the bomb once. They want to know who he is. He gets the one. Oh. Keeps it going. The defuse has to stop, but my god. Is that time? Head trick gets the shot on the AWP, and we are going to go to overtime. Oh, they're losing so easy rounds right now, Charles. <laughs> Obviously, the 3v1, not what I meant, but as a tag all alone. And it's not really like he's not one shotting every single player coming in, like two tapping. He's literally spraying one after another. He's almost doubling his kill amount in that round, like for the whole map. In this last couple of rounds, he's gotten like 60, 70 percent of all his kills. Yeah, I he's think the problem as well for for Device in this scenario is that because he is busy killing the first two people, he yeah. doesn't know when the defuse started. Yeah, yeah, there's the, probably nobody gonna be grenade, pushed. The grenades would have slowed him down getting here. You know, yeah. like, who cares about it? He's <laughs> in the corner. Oh, they check it, but still, Config will get the shot onto Device. I. <laughs> I want to believe that he just made the choice not to do it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying to myself as well. Let's wait and see. Oh, that's almost a one-way smoke for Alex. Just the right side of it to use. And now it's down. 1v3. Has gotten the first one in the back. Bomb goes down. Monster Angle probably one up next for him. He can't really find his way in the smoke. Okay, it's down. Crazy movement all over the place. Very hard to find these angles down. We'll have his back turn and it's gonna be rest with the big flank. So many clutches in the end. Yeah. Nobody's going for the boost. It's a little bit too obvious perhaps. Great nade. Stair finding the first one. Together with the blame, they're down in towards the water, but the flashbang is working. Stair still alive. Device will clutch it up. It's another 1v1 finish to a round. This time it will go to Astralis. I think also there was nine or ten rounds in a row for an IP. Really happy for Astralis to get back on the track. Can't think there's no way he gets out with two kills there. That is almost criminal. And a potential for a third, but fair. He holds strong. Taken out from the back though. 1v3 for Device. Yeah, he is a god at this game, so I wouldn't really be surprised. The flashbang to set it up. Yeah, he's sure no one's coming from this direction. He sent it up, but the grenade will take him down. He was clean on that first shot. It looked like he could have won it, but it will be NIP to take another round here in overtime. Oh, he does. Yeah, he should have a bit of a read here. And blame F defeating Convic over by the restrooms. 20 seconds. Here's a very low clock for NIP, and they're not really making enough of a breakthrough at the moment. 15 seconds left, and Hedrick missing a oh, shot. Oh, wow. down. oh my god, his read of the game is so good. Alex, one versus four, trying to get something done, but he's down to close it out. He is such an animal, isn't he? That's crazy. He's so good in these dynamic situations where there's a lot of st stuff going on at the same time, manages. Nobody's wanting to boost. <laughs> Nobody wants to boost. <laughs> that is funny. Um, now, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. He's down, getting a double. One of them is teammates. Not a third one. Still two more towards the side. And they know where the AWP is. They want to try and see if they can box him in. Yabby there to try and hold the fort. And he nearly relocates in a perfect position. But Device is in a lot of trouble. He got the call from his teammate that one of them was low. So he tried to finish it with a pistol. But all oh, the kills was there. That was close. He stopped the bomb plant, but now the best that the Astralis can do is try and fight for overtime. Oh, so unfortunate when he scoped out with that old standard execute. R running into four players potentially again. I think the rotation is coming in. This kill means everything. Device gets the first one and can take the secondary angle, but rest pops up. Gets him to go. And now that clock is really painful for NIP. 30 seconds here. They can't be slowed down too much for. Otherwise, they're going to run out of time to plant the bomb. S tag goes down. Stay with the kill. Blame him. In the back. And Alex on his own. 20 seconds. Looking for any opening he get. My god, he ran forward and still gets the headshot on Blame F. One versus one. Yabby coming in on the one side, oh, Alex crouching in, 10 seconds on the clock, he fakes it again, spots it out, he can't get the shot! Oh, and now he's Those running guys. out of time, Alex, no more bullets, and Yabby will take him down for the double overtime! What am I watching? Oh, wow. Alex just tried to will it through, but it didn't happen in the end, unfortunately. But he does the right thing, he forces the duel, yeah. he has him locked in a position, it's a very relatively easy duel he takes, but doesn't manage to connect a few bullets. Device once again aggressive and will catch Rez. 
And now they have the benefit of starting CC in this overtime. Should also help out. Yeah. Astralis. Potentially lock down the first two and then go for the third as well. Let's see. Ooh, okay. All right. Yabi and Stair in unison. Stair was really good in regulation down to the bomb side. He got tested quite a bit and he came up with some nice defensive plays. Yabi to take care of business. Alex out of the round and obviously hat trick. I have no, no idea how Alex got that kill. He was completely flashed. But, uh, that's also a little bit of a bonus. At least one guy enjoying it. <laughs> 16 rounds for Australis. Rotations. Yeah, surely Stown is going to be rotating now. Yep. Oh, this is a, it's a very awkward Name for an IP, it. isn't it? Oh, oh wow. He's the leg. Oh. Unfortunate timing for Blaine. Now they have a decision to make. Are they going to fake it? Yeah. Are they going to run in or are they going to rotate? They're going to run in. Arrest the first man on the spot, but we'll be taken out by Stair. Just down, just sitting. Oh, he plays the entire team. He plays to kill the bomb in the end. 15 seconds. Oh, he sold all of them down. Nobody knows that he's in the corner. 10 seconds on the clock here. He's going to be crouching out. There's one. The next is inside of the smoke. Oh, he gets... Oh, my God! It's down! Sure, he sacrificed everyone else to get that round, and it worked. It's such about being a good player to know when to sell your teammates. Yeah. Stavon realizes he has that timing. He, he's not a normal B player. He's the rotation. They might not expect him to be in a, a position like Barrels. Well, you know, Serbian legend Janko once said there's a fine line between baiting and teamwork. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if, he, if he whiffed on the first one, what would you have said? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, you know, we call him a baiter at that point in time, saying that's it. It was all for nothing. Should be config to deliver it if stats tell a story. He will be taken out here. Oh my god. Wow, Yabi, that's such a great play. Tough position to get anything out of, and he gets two kills, rotates back. The perfect call. Looks like 18 for Astralis. It's a bit of an issue for NIP if they get no rounds at all on the on the T side. Yeah, and the thing is. Alex is dead right now. He's probably sitting there thinking about the 14-15. If I would have just <laughs> killed him in the corner, we would have yeah. been out. True, very true. That That is you have a the, lot going on. You have these thoughts as a player. I remember having like, oh my god, if I just won that round, we would be here. Oh wow, rest great opening. Coming in from the side. Just there on the side now. Holding back, but the rotation is coming. Yabi's here. Can he get his third of the round? Yes, he will. And the fourth as well. Yabi stepping up. One dig. Oh! That's the ace. Oh, God. That is really, really sick. Unbelievable play coming out. That's a lot of damage. Obviously, the wall catching most of it, but head trick. He is surely dead. The only question is, can he take anyone with him? He can. Play Gabby's it. lost, and they finally get him out, but Rez is there in the meantime. They are still trying to find this connector player, underground player. Config will take down Blame if another device has a mountain to climb. Stairs coming in to help him, but so little that can be done, but device and Stair both find one. And now it's a 2v2, it was a 4v2, now it's a 2v2. Oh, and Alex is really far away. I don't know if Rez made any noise coming here, if he was walking the whole way, but it doesn't look like they're quite aware. They're probably guessing that someone's going to be coming in from this side. Awkward open to position for device. Yeah, I don't. I can understand why he wants to relocate. He doesn't want to stay that open. Oh, it's another headshot! There with the triple! And Astralis, they just need one more round, but Alex trying to see if he'd hold on. He failed the last 1v1. He has to get this one to get it into triple overtime. That's what he's looking for, but he can't do it. There instead, the quad kill, and it's Astralis to pick up the opening map. Yeah, and very fitting that Stair will get his 30 bomb in this exact round to clutch it up. The young man, 19 years of age, has to live it as long alongside the closest teammates. Maybe not playing his usual position at the moment, but it is a pistol round, so I guess that makes sense. Config pushing forward with the duelies. Oh, what a jump! What? I need to see the replay. I don't know how they got that kill. My God. Yabi will take up Rez as well, and they are powering through Astralis. A strong start here to the second map. The bomb is going to get planted. Two versus four. Yeah, 
that went so fast for Astralis. There was absolutely no chance for NIP to do anything there. To quote the uh, your old teammate, colleague, Semna, like kittens into a blender, as he would say. True, very true. Oh, wow, Alex, though, bringing it back now. Yeah, he has the kit as well, but still, Astralis have to keep facing for this to work out. He's going to tap the bomb once, and now there is nothing he can oh. do. Blame F, giving him a little bit of a taste as well. A couple of good shots, but man, the first kill, I... I'm not even sure how that worked. I'm actually so confused. Let's see a slow-mo if we can. <laughs> It'll be a B-pop now. Alex is gonna come under pressure. He rotates away and they want to play a retake. Config though, great damage, Alex. Rotating on towards the back of the bomb side. We'll get another one. Blame F all alone and he'll be taking a perfect hold from NIP. Yeah, like we, we said at the start, you know where Config's gonna be playing. Head trick. Oh, he's just in the window already. Only one player going down. That's really great for an IP. Important round. He's gonna come back just like Rez did. Comes back to check and suddenly there's three people there. That's pretty devastating. Although Alex, he's good for a kill. 20 seconds left now. And they are pretty low on the Astrala side. They should be winning this round here in IP. Two weapons though, but still very, very hard to win this one. Confi coming in for the back and it will be uh, a round for an IP. Two weapons taken away though by Astralis, so not completely useless round from them. They definitely take away some economy there. There. But Blame F trying to open up against his old teammate. Config able to best him. Rez, I don't think anyone even knew that he was up here. Now there's a second player. Rez should be dead. He's being hunted. There we go. Device able to find him, but it took an extra second and that's enough for Hedrick to take him out. It's Yabby. Looking for the opening and actually getting it. S tag goes down. It's a bit curious. Oh, right time. I think Config might have saved his teammate. Oh, for Hedrick sure. was on the other side. Could have been dead. And that's also like a, a good example of the communication. Like Hedrick knows his back is covered because Config has communicated. He's holding the angle. Yabi now trying his best, but it's going to be a hard mission for him to accomplish. Won't happen in the end. Third round on the board for NIP. This is an interesting angle. Scary for Klenvik. Yeah, he has the backup though. Rest is sneaking up towards the mid and Alex is coming around the corner from short. They should be able to refract this and they will. Two for one trade in middle. Uh, Yabby goes down. Totally split up from Astralis' side. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh and look at the rotation that it causes. That's the dream scenario. Oh, wow. You're faking it, you get one kill while faking it, so they really buy it. And then they just over-rotate. Now the bomb is going to get planted. Oh. They don't even know it's not B. They're going to think it's a B plant right yeah. now. Hedrick thinks surely yeah. this has to be B, but it doesn't matter. Stay, I will kill them all. Except what an absolute an nerd. That, that position. Yeah, it's an, and it's, it's an old school one, but you kind of, it's gotten forgotten in the book somehow. Like, nobody uses it anymore, brings it back alive, and gets two kills off it. I believe we sometimes refer to that as a rat, a rat position. <laughs> That's, I, would I would call somebody a rat if I got killed like that. And it's super important that it's Yabi going out first and not Stab, because if he kills Stab first, then he's realizing, okay, Yabi is... Staying in the connector. Maybe so he can help out if they boost over short. They're gonna push for short. We're gonna have all in blue here. Stabbing gets the first one. Perfect. Three for one trade, and that's gonna be the round. We see so many rounds now. And the CT is holding. It sounds like they should have an advantage, but sometimes you just don't. Flashes are coming through, so at least they're going to know that summon is up. S tag with a little bit of a counter nade, and this wow. time the third one is the charm taking down device. What a round for him! Playing around the smoke is S tag. Yes, the backup behind him peeks up, and Config will find Blame F. Yabi and Stown remaining. 22 seconds, and now it's all down. Taken out by Hetrick. Six rounds for NIP. What a frustrating experience if you're if you're Charles in that round. Perfect from Res. Absolutely perfect. Still a choice to make here for Astralis. Where they want to go. 40 seconds remaining, and 
This is really tough because yeah. even if they get head trick or they trade him here, oh. which they don't. Wow. They have to deal with S tank who's up in the palace. It's, just, it's very hard if they were going to come through the connector there to, to find another player. Okay. Nabby's able to get the shot, but Rez click on the return and they know. Signs with an eight. Yeah, he's going to be dead. Okay. What so, many, fun. so many good rounds from Stair and so many small details he's doing correctly here on this map. Let's see if he can get some sort of. Clutch energy going. 1v2. Starting to be four. Yeah, he's gonna walk right into it. Last round here, yeah, but S tag. Able to find him instead. Beaten by his own countrymen. Uh, it's, a, it's a decent finish for NIP, but a very open game for both teams right now, you've got to say. Oh, for sure. This is this, this can go either way right now. NIP. It's really underrated. T side, Deagle, Pistol, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh let's see. Device. See, with, the uh, deal would have killed him. Yeah, that's true. Took the silence off the USPS device just to be a little bit edgy. He's doing the simple thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay, hold on. Let's tag an Alex, bring it back just a tiny bit. He's controlling this. He sees Yabby towards yep. CT spawn, and Yabby has to just try and fall back. Ooh. He's looking at the headshots. My God, he's oh. getting Yabby. That is a ridiculous finish to the round. Expert play with the USP. And he's been so quiet throughout this game, Yabi, and then he steps up in a very important fashion. I also think it's important for, for the fans to, to experience what qualities each player have, have to offer on this roster. We've seen Stav with many good rounds, Stavin with the dynamic gameplays, and also here, Jabby on the anchor roll. My. Yeah, most of these teams have been practicing basically straight from either the 1st or the 3rd of January, so... They're in the middle of preparing. They'll take all the experience they can get. Lots of battles out in mid, and Config will grab the first two before eventually being shot down. But then IP doesn't realize what's going on. Can push into his death. Oh, the timing. Alex second guessing himself, and what an awkward battle from either side. Talk about small margins to win a fight. Literally a couple of pixels. Yeah. We have a guy on A trying to take space here, yeah, actually finds the kill. That's the round. <laughs> GGL clapping. He knows exactly what this means. Can't look in that direction now, but this is also a corner that you're going to be trapped in. Oh, oh, wow, nice. Alex. Wow. All right. A master of finding these pixels. Like, we saw the duel down towards Blame F. That was maybe one or two pixels he had in advantage. The same here. Going forward, you never know. The rushing palace. Oh, wow. Full W press. Yabi under pressure. We'll get the first one. Not the second config once again. Shines through. Wow, what a risk for device. He actually walked right into the grenades and still he comes out on top. Taking down config. A four versus three here at least for a second now. More grenades raining in for the CT. He's really putting some pressure. S tag. The flash is good, but he might have flashed. He might have got flashed as well himself. Yeah. That's not what you want to see. Rez. And Hetrick and Rez is on a, on a big flank right now. Hetrick pretty much on his own at the moment. Trying to stay alive here for his teammate to get there. It's a great job for Hetrick, but it might not be enough. Yeah, Rez is so far away. Bomb is down towards the side. They have to just hold a few angles and... A good decision by Stair to leave. Yeah. yeah. And get into a very uncomfortable position to clear for Rez. 45 seconds. How do you get the information? There's the peak. Well, Stair is pretty accurate on this one. Finally around, but they do still lose three people on the Astralis side. I mean, they... Oh, great shot from Device as well. And a second one for him. A third one potential as Raz is waiting in there. Does he see him when he peeks out? Oh, they're going to peek from the other side. That's really good. Not allowing NIP to sort of wait around for too long. S tag and config. I think you could do in this one, unfortunately. 20 seconds left here. Yeah, you're gonna have to save. Config probably loves to get a couple of kills just to make it expensive, but the it's also shot. risky. His leg shot it needs to get away. 12 HP. Well, it looks like he will get away. Astralis, of course, focusing on their own economy here. Potentially still a few rounds to go, so want to make sure they have the maximum amount of buy rounds as they reach round number nine. Okay, and again, no bomb plant here, so we're going to start counting those bomb plants because 
The closer we get to the end of the map, the more it's going to be important how many extra $800 bonuses that you actually get at the end of it. Yeah, he is going to be there lightning quick. We'll He's see. Footsteps are in. They know what's coming. He's there with a good double shutdown. But Playmath, he gets caught by Head Trick rotating in. And it's a bit sketchy now. Jump down to the low ground. Head Trick. Oh, oh. rolls for spare. Four kills. Absolutely expertly played for the young player. That's everything that they could have wanted. Once again, like... Made him justify to make that decision. Ooh, makes a fail step. Not sure if the Vice heard it. It's unfortunate. The Vice yeah. pulls out the Deagle. He definitely he was just... talking on the microphone right when it happened, so... Just needs to get one. Oh, one the one to do it. 20 seconds here. There it is. One kill. That's all we're asking for. 16 seconds now. And the, actually, Yabby getting to swing seconds there. He takes all of the attention away playing in shadow. So, great work. Yeah, and despite Yabi not getting any kills there, he missed kind of a spray. But I like the idea that he waits for the guy on the shadow yeah. to take the contact first and then swing afterwards so they can get that spray down. He's up there, tied for the vice, uh, top frags. 17 each. Here we go, a little bit of change of pace, trying to get into it. Astralis, they need one more round to claim the grand finals here. That is all they're looking for. But opening kill, and it goes the way of NIP. Oh, Blaine F. He's feeling it, triple kill from him, and down. Device will finish it. It will be Astralis to hit 13 and take the trophy at Copenhagen Gaming Week 2024 on home soil. Wow, really, really impressive work. Um, brand new lineup, obviously. We do have a trophy lift coming up soon. Of course, going to lift it for the fans here in the arena. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Your winners here in Copenhagen is Astralis.